In summary, the color of sea and river water results from a combination of factors such as the presence of organic matter, suspended particles, depth, clarity, and the types of microorganisms present. The specific characteristics of each water body contribute to the observed differences in color. Just as every water body tells a story, so does the color and taste of its water. The journey begins with the color. Light, the very essence of sight, plays a crucial role here. When sunlight enters water, it gets absorbed, refracted and scattered. Ocean water, due to its depth and vastness, absorbs light at the red end of the spectrum and reflects light at the blue end, giving it that distinct deep blue hue. On the other hand, river water is usually shallower and reflects the colors of the surrounding landscape, often resulting in a clear, greenish or even muddy appearance. Now, onto the taste. The ocean is essentially a giant saltwater soup. It consists of about 3.5% salt, which gives it its characteristic saline taste. This salt comes from various sources, including underwater volcanic eruptions and weathering and erosion of rocks on land carried to the sea by rivers. River water, however, tells a different tale. Being sourced from rain or melting snow, it is naturally fresh and lacks the high salt content of the ocean. But don't be fooled. River water may still carry dissolved minerals and organic matter from the environment it flows through, subtly influencing its taste. To recap, the difference in color between ocean and river water is largely due to the depth and vastness of the ocean, which allows it to absorb and reflect light differently. The ocean's salty taste stems from its high salt content, courtesy of underwater volcanic eruptions and weathering of land rocks. In contrast, river water, sourced from rain or melting snow, is fresh and its taste varies based on the minerals and organic matter it picks up along its journey. So, next time you find yourself gazing at a tranquil river or the expansive ocean, remember there's more than meets the eye or the tongue as the case may be. Each is a living testament to the intricate and fascinating interplay of light, landscape and geology that shapes the world we live in.